Well, we have a Yamaha Maple Custom Absolute Drum here. Snare drum. Uh, that has a broken th drainer throw. It's got internal issues. Also, I've seen a lot of these. This is cast, um, cast metal here, and that'll break. And there's no way to really repair that. And the way this is fit together, at least on this version, there's no way you can take this slide off of the rest of the housing. So, that strainer, 130 bucks. Time is an issue. Money is an issue. It's a school. Ludwig P85. I personally love these strainers. They're on, they're off, they're simple to use. Do they have issues? Sometimes. This area right here breaks. Or can break. It's cast aluminum. 28 bucks. Still. So I'm going to show you how we're going to mount this in a surefire way to get it on straight and not at a funny angle. Like, you know, you hate it when you see a drum. It's like, it's almost right, but it's just a little off. Yeah, you can't stand that, right? Well, we're going to show you how it's done. So, I already put my piece of tape on there, and it's important to um, it's important to have a very very old tape dispenser like this. This this is like cast heavy duty cast cast iron, I think. It's incredible. But I'm gonna go ahead and tape the inside of the shell right quick because when I drill this, I, I want this. Um, I don't want the wood to split, okay? And then the second thing I already did is already scribed my line. We're going to utilize one of the holes from the original mount, okay? Put the, uh, the square on the uh, bearing edge, and then I drew from the middle of that hole straight up, okay? Gives us a reference line. Now I'll take my slide cam off the P85, set it aside, and then simply, simply do this. Now it's probably a good idea to, whoop, lost the screws. Probably a good idea to go ahead and, and put the one, um, one nut and bolt in there or one bolt and nut to secure it, just to kind of keep your hands free and to make this work a little bit more easily. Just can, finger tight is all. And then just simply rotate this so it's lined up with the uh, vertical refer reference line. Just takes a second to do this and the results are gonna be much more accurate than you can ever eyeball it. And sometimes you eyeball it and it's just not, it's still just off a little bit and that can drive me nuts, I know that. Um, let me get the drill. Okay, so with this already lined up, I don't have to make a horizontal line on it. I can just drill right through the whole the whole thing. Now this is just a 1 8 inch bit at this time. Nice and slow when you go, go through. And then you won't have any cutout. Of course that's a new new bit and, and everything. So let's just test fit this in, in case I have to move up one drill size. Yep, I'll have to do that. I'll have to move up. So I can just rotate this out of the way now and go up one drill size. going to be perfect. 
So, now that that's all set, take our nut and bolt off that's holding everything in place. Yeah, these, these drums are needed by the weekend. They were sent in like Thursday. I'm like, oh, that doesn't give me a whole lot of time. Fortunately, I had the strainer on hand. Um, I'm still waiting for the snare wires to come in for this. There's some stuff we don't keep on hand regularly. Look at that. You can actually see that the original strainer looks like it was put on slightly crooked. But we're going with that bottom hole as our first reference. And then the top. And we can see that that is, that is dead on. That is dead on. Okay. Let me get this, let me get this tightened up here quick. All right, so I got the nuts in place. Let's just go ahead and hold the nut with a adjustable wrench or a socket, whatever you want to do, and then tighten the tighten the bolts up. And that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. A real nice, clean, no tear out, and. Um, Let's put the slide on on the um, strainer so we can get a good look. I like to grease this whole assembly right here. Anytime you can do this for your hardware, it's really a good idea. Now I'm going to go ahead and I've got a 30 weight oiler and I'm going to also oil all these little pivots. This has just got 30 weight 5W30 in it. Okay, I want to go ahead and oil this and here, and that will keep this. I think a lot of times people have complaints about these items because they don't keep them maintained, they don't keep them lubricated, and that will cause early failure. So I'll put the spring back on. Slide it up there. Start the threading. I like to go about halfway. Once I do the setup with the snares, snare wires in the head, I'll, I'll adjust this and tweak it as I need. But I like to go with about halfway. Then, then you have room to tighten and loosen the whole thing. Now, um, some people would really be obsessed that. You're, you're putting a different manufacturer's part on a different manufacturer's drum. And that's okay, I understand. I understand the conflict there. But you have to understand where I'm coming from. I have to do what's... what I give the option to my customer. I already did. I said, I can order the part in. It's $130. Bucks. Um, don't know when it'll be here. I've got one for 28 I can put on it. It'll work fine. Um, because how many millions of snare drums, Ludwig snare drums, are, are out there in in schools with a P85 strainer on it? I can I can tell you millions. And um, have I had to replace them? Sure, I do. Um, it's usually because you know they take a tumble in the band room uh, and they smash right onto this, you know, and it wipes out this uh, this cam this internal cam lever. Occasionally this will get bent. That's not a problem to repair. I've repaired many bent throw-off screws. That's that's not a big issue. Anyway, that's how we replace um, a snare throw-off onto a wood drum and save a lot of money and, and it's pretty expedient to do.